Health officials say opioid use disorders have been rising over time and was exasperated by the pandemic. Now, illicit drugs like fentanyl are affecting a more vulnerable population, newborn babies. Several babies whose mothers admitted to using fentanyl during pregnancy were born with abnormalities. NBC 15's Karis Harmon joins us now. Karis, some health officials say this could be from a new syndrome caused by exposure to fentanyl in the womb. That's right, Kim, but here in Alabama, state health officials say it's just too early to tell. You've heard the saying, only one pill kills. Health officials say a mere two milligrams of fentanyl is a lethal dose for an adult. For reference, that's about 15 grains of table salt. If that's what the drug can do to an adult, imagine what effects it can have on a baby. It's known that opioid exposure during pregnancy can have problems, can have effects both on the mom and the baby including maternal death, poor fetal growth, uh, preterm birth, stillbirth, um, and also effects after birth that may include what are called neonatal abstinence syndrome, uh, where babies uh, are essentially withdrawing. Some health officials are concerned that fentanyl exposure in the womb is causing a new kind of syndrome to come to the scene. Doctors have identified 10 babies across the country with strange birth defects, like cleft palate, webbed toes, drooping eyelids, and smaller heads, along with other abnormalities. The mothers of those babies had admitted to using fentanyl during their pregnancy. These are things that are seen uh, relatively regularly. Um, it's the fact that the the it, that fentanyl is such a common exposure in people who may be misusing opioids, plus the fact that um, uh, that that it's so widespread that that could be linked to fetal anomalies that had not been seen before. Dr. Stubblefield says more research has to be done to see if this new syndrome is directly linked to fentanyl. This is only a small number of babies. However, is this kind of a telltale sign of a significant problem that we could be facing in the future? Uh, at, th at this point, possibly. It just it, you would just have to make sure that this is, this is actually linked to the fentanyl as opposed to just uh, a random chance. And because the numbers are so small at this point, it's, it's still left to be determined. He says pregnant women who are battling opioid abuse need to get into treatment for their own health and the health of their baby. Kim?